International flags flutter above a protesters' camp outside the Ukrainian Foreign Office. They may have ousted Yanukovych, but they know their country can only survive a Russian standoff with outside assistance. So while the flashpoint may be hundreds of miles away in the Crimea, Kiev remains at the centre of the diplomatic crossroads, hence the visit of the UK Foreign Secretary and later his counterpart from Washington, D.C. William Hague showed his colours by visiting the road in central Kiev where so many died in last month's bloody confrontation. He laid flowers for the Maidan's fallen and later in an interview with Sky News in the British Embassy offered the acting government even more sustained diplomatic pressure on Moscow. The reality is in the 21st century you cannot behave in this way, uh, violate blatantly the sovereignty and the territorial integrity of a neighbouring nation and think that there will be no consequences. This is a coordinated push. Other foreign ministers from around Europe hoping Russia's diplomatic isolation, such as suspending talks over visa issues, will lead to mediation. The country's acting prime minister remains defiant. Russia is to realise that they will pay the price. And not only Russia, but those who are today in Crimea, and they present an illegal, and I would reiterate again, an illegal power in Crimea. But Russia is pursuing a different narrative. It justifies its troop movements in autonomous Crimea on two grounds, protecting its majority ethnic Russian population and its Black Sea fleet from what it calls an illegal coup. I repeat, this is a matter of defending our citizens and our compatriots, of defending the most important human right, the right to life. Those who attempt to interpret the situation as an act of aggression and threaten us with sanctions and boycotts, these are the very same partners of ours who consistently have encouraged political forces close to them to deliver an ultimatum and refuse dialogue. Diplomats passing through snowy Kiev are relying on a united international response to chip away at Moscow's belligerence, but so far it's having little effect. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Kiev.